Heterodox Academy heavily pushes the work of Jordan B. Peterson, an alt-right Canadian professor of psychology who inserted himself into a national Canadian debate over transgender rights, specifically by refusing to refer to a student by their gender pronouns. William Roosh of Heterodox Academy states, I have been told that Jordan Peterson is a cult leader. Well, okay, let's say that he is. What's it for? The power grab? Power to do what? What is his aim as a cult leader? So I just wanted to remind you that one of my first interactions with Shelby Lorman was in December of 2018 when uh, she reached out to me because of a Instagram highlight that I had made outlining the dangers of Jordan B. Peterson's ideology. And as you can see, Shelby shared uh, this highlight that I had created with her following. Since I started exposing what's happening here, I have been experiencing a lot of harassment. Um, they actually were able to mass report my old Instagram account to a point where it was banned and it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, so I did my best to recreate this Jordan B. Peterson highlight on this new account. I'm just sharing that here in case you want to go read more about Jordan B. Peterson. So Jordan B. Peterson and Jonathan Haidt of Heterodox Academy are actually old friends. All of us who have been exposing Heterodox Academy and Nexium have been repeatedly misgendered despite those same people claiming to support trans people. Uh, many people in the cult even identify as trans and or queer themselves, uh, but still choose to misgender people. Uh, my pronouns have always been in my bio. Here you can see Molly Francis um, gaslighting her entire following via her Substack newsletter um, that used to be titled HDocs, but that was changed uh, once we started calling the members of the cult out. Um, Molly is connected to Jay and Clementine and Searoot as well as other cult members. Uh, yeah, and you can see she is misgendering me the entire time. Jordan B. Peterson's ideology and teachings very much aligns with Nexium cult leader Keith Raniere. So coming back to this again, I believe that Shelby initially targeted me because I was outspoken about my dislike for Jordan B. Peterson's ideology. I don't know uh, if this was a punishment or if she had hoped to influence my ideology, um, but we'll talk about that uh, when we discuss memetics in our next video.